What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So as usual, somehow, this cycle kind of happens a lot where we have a new patch, and then people play for about a week or so, and then people start dropping tier lists. Uh, I just recently reviewed some uh, popular players tier lists, not everybody, it's just like a few interesting ones. and. I noticed that sometimes people comment on the same characters like why is this character good, why is this character not rated so highly. So I figured my next couple of character reviews slash analysis I would look at this aspect as well. So this leads me to Teen Gohan. Uh, in the comments of the tier list review video looking at other people's tier lists, I saw a lot of people asking why is Ting Gohan rated so highly? I don't understand how Ting Gohan could be rated so highly. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why he's so good. If you like the content I'm putting out, consider liking this video or subscribing to the channel if you already have not. It does help the channel grow and I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so Gohan. So Ting Gohan has been pretty much agreed upon as the top tier character since season two. He was kind of slept on though, I think, uh, in all the scenes of Dragon Ball. So EU used Ting Gohan a lot and uh, there were a couple of standout Ting Gohan players in Japan, but in the US scene, he was definitely kind of not looked at that much until the second half of season two. Now the thing is, he is from season 1, so he does have like a pretty vanilla toolkit. Like he has a lot of tools that other characters that came out in season 1 has. Like standard key blast, he can move around the screen uh, pretty easily. He's got an air key blast as well. He doesn't like outright do anything fancy at a glance. Now the first thing we'd have to talk about on why he's good is that he's small. So this mattered more in season 2 than season 3. In season 2, being small helps your defense, but being small in the game overall helps because the game screen is extremely huge and for the most part, this is definitely a generalization, but characters have small kind of stubby moves. You usually have to travel across the screen with a move or use an anti-air or an assist to try to cover a lot of space. So being small really helps because you're just a smaller target than someone like Broly or Cooler or any of the other huge characters. Now, he had a Lariat, our buddy Larry, he had one pretty early on. Uh, he has this move. This move is really good, it travels really pretty far, so the medium version travels almost full screen. They're safe on block, which is nice, and the nice thing is that these lead to kills of Sparking, uh, basically with zero bars, which is a huge return for a move like this that's really common in the game. Tingguan's corner carry is also extremely good. This of course requires an assist, but for the most part, people either use in point or mid, so it's pretty common for him to have this support available. So that was pretty much corner to corner. Now he also does a lot of damage and builds a ton of meter, so this is a pretty simple example. Something I did last season. So here you already have about like 50%. It's definitely optimized to do more damage, and I gained two and a half bars. Uh, he's a really, really good example of a battery character that builds a ton of meter in this game. Now, damage aside, because we all understand why damage is important in the game, you have to basically kill people when you hit them. It sounds stupid, but if you let the character live, they have a lot of options to kind of like get out and extend the game. So obviously doing a lot of damage is a really big benefit, but the meter is also really, really good because one, you get access to kills faster, but two, you also enable other characters uh, who need meter to do things. It is also pretty easy to set up mix-ups of him. This is very, very important as well. So, of course, here I have Roshi B. So, when you have high blocks done, it's pretty trivial for anyone. So, I'm not really going to mention it. The one we really want to talk about is this M legs. So, as you noticed, uh, Team Gohan got hit here, right? Because it's 16 frames, which means that there will always be a gap no matter what. But it's a one frame gap that you have there. Uh, I'm not saying it's one frame as in... Oh my god, it's hard to hit this reflect timing. It's pretty easy. You can just mash it. What we're mostly talking about here is that the M legs has really fast startup and you have to make the choice basically when he does his auto combo. So this leads to a couple problems. So one, you could block it. 
But then you'll get 50-50s with characters that you don't normally get 50-50s with. Beam assist and the like. Now, disrespecting the move brings its own set of issues. So, one, he could hard bait it and hit you with 2M and you're gonna lose 80% or die depending on the situation, which really sucks. If you respect it though, then you have to block 50-50, which could lead to a really similar situation. You're about to die or he'll kill you. Now, the other thing is what happens when you successfully reflect him. So this is a rare example in the game where you are plus on reflect. So even though uh, you are pushing him off, he still has the advantage. So when you combine this with an assist, you get a pretty, pretty strong offensive situation. So here I made a recording where, because uh, normally when you're attacking them and you see them reflect, you just are like, oh, they're reflecting, I'm plus, I can do stuff. So I have a recording basically assuming I'm going to reflect. So here's what it looks like normally, right? Of course, again, I'm assuming he's going to reflect, but... but... This is what would happen if you just block after reflecting. Here, my mash got smoked. Here, I get hit out of jump. Here, I try to reflect again. He can slide back in on you. Here, I try to tag, and I can't. So despite being able to challenge the M legs with reflect, you usually need to find extra answers to it besides just reflecting because he can stay in on you. And of course, you could not talk about him without talking about his assist. And the real standout assist is his A assist. So his C assist actually got buffed this patch and it is a pretty interesting choice if you want to mess around with it but this a assist has been proven time and time again this is a timeless assist it's a dp assist it goes pretty high it has a good amount of blocks done it's really easy to use super dash and break people down and just start offense in a game where jumping is extremely strong and it's hard to catch people as we said in the beginning of the video an assist like this is really really helpful and it's invincible as well so you can use it defensively We've seen DP assists used defensively for a long time in this game, very, very well. So all in all, he's a kind of vanilla character, but he can stay in. He has good offense, good defense, good damage, good beater build, good corner carry. He has a lot of just positive aspects that, of course, like just playing him, it's nice, but it supports other characters. He can be added on mostly any team. He mostly helps any character just by being on the team, which is pretty nice. It's a definitely, definite, definite sign of a top tier character. Of course, there are some other things he has that are really good. I just wanted to talk about the general really, really strong stuff that he has that kind of makes me stand out. He's not like a super common pick, despite him, most people thinking he's like a top three character. I think right now he's like a top three character. And I've kind of been thinking, you know, like right now I'm playing Gotenks, but uh, he, I've actually been thinking about Team Gohan again recently. I played Team Gohan at the end of season two with, uh, and I was pretty happy with him, I would say, but uh, even now, like they didn't really change uh, from season two to season three that much, besides a couple of minor changes. So he's basically just that same super strong character, minus the all extra threat of snapping you and killing you off snap. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.